morning everyone. Myself Sampat Kumar, Master Professor from Guilty Department Chain Water Engineering College. Uh, so my subject is uh, in this semester basic electrical and electronics engineering. So in this subject, so I want to discuss uh, one important topic from the electric circuit. So, so that topic is nodal analysis. Nodal analysis. So now we are going to see the nodal analysis. So the nodal analysis means what? So nodal analysis means what? The nodal analysis is Ohm's law plus KCA. Ohm's law plus KCA. Now, so why we are using the nodal analysis? So nodal is using uh, applying the circuit to simplify the calculations. To simplify the calculations. So if you take the Ohm's law, if you take the Ohm's law, so this Ohm's law, we, by using this Ohm's law, we cannot simplify the complicated circuits. So that is why we are moving on to the nodal analysis and mechanics and all those things. So, so apart from that, I will choose the topic nodal analysis. So now I am going to explain how to apply this nodal analysis to the circuit. So first one. We have to see the steps. Steps to follow. Steps to follow. So then how can we apply? It? So in that first step, first step is first step is what? Find the number of find the number of nodes. Find the Number of nodes in the circuit. Find the number of nodes in the circuit. So whatever the circuit we have, so we first we should find the how many number of nodes the circuit consists. First we have to find the number of nodes. So the node means what? Node means what? It is a meeting point. It is a meeting point or junction point where two or more elements meet together. Where Two or more elements meet together. That is a node. So next point. Take one reference node. Take one reference node. Take one reference node. So that means what? This reference node is what? The node voltage is equal to zero. Node voltage is equal to what? what? Zero. That means also ground voltage. You can now we call it as ground voltage. We should make the ground voltage is equal to the zero. That is the reference node. That is what reference node. So next, next one is what indicate. Next step is what indicate the node voltages. Indicate the node voltages. Indicate the node voltages. So now how many nodes are there? That much of voltages will be there. So that much of node voltages. We have to indicate for those node voltages. Now our step is coming. Now apply apply the KCL at each node. Apply the KCL at each node. So now final step write the node equations. Write the node equations. Write the node equations. So now as usually when we get the node equations, we have to solve those node equations and finally we have to find whatever we need. We have to find whatever Next final step is what? Solve the node equations. Solve the node equations and find find required find required value. Find required value. So these are the steps to follow. Apply the nodal analysis. So first step is what? We have to find the number of nodes in the circuit and second step is what? Take one node as a reference node and next we have to indicate the node voltages. Node voltages means what? Like 
v1 v2 and epsilon v1 v2 and epsilon next so apply the kcl at each mode apply the kcl at each mode and finally write the mode equations and by solving those equations you can find the whatever the required value whatever the required value is in our file okay so this is the Process to apply the model analysis. Now we can now we choose one circuit and we have to apply this model analysis. So how to solve how to apply this model analysis and how we get the required values. Required values means what? Whatever the current flowing through the branch, particular branch, or voltage across the branch, or else power consumed by the particular branch. Power consumed by the particular branch. So we have to Solve all those things. So, for example, for example, so we we'll take one example. We we'll take one example. So, randomly you have to take one circuit. Uh, it's supposed to be a circuit consists of 50 volts. Circuit consists of 50 volts and one two ohms resistor. One two ohm resistor. One six ohm resistor and another voltage source is what? Forty five volts. Another voltage source is forty five volts. Now I have to find the current going through this branch four ohms. Current going through the four ohms. Current going through the four ohms. So I is I is I said that whatever the position is there, we have to follow that position. So first. In that first step is what? Step one. First step is what? Find number of modes. Number of modes. So how many modes are there? So there is only one. The mode voltage is we can say V. Mode voltage is we can say V. So modes, number of modes that is equals what? One. Next step. Step two. Step two. What is step? Take reference mode. Take reference mode. So this is the reference mode. Reference means what? Where all elements meet at one point. Where all elements meet at common point. That common point is what? Reference. That voltage is equal to what? Zero. Reference mode is over. Next. No voltage is over. So already we created the more voltage also. Now our final step is what? Step apply apply KCL at ohms. Apply KCL at ohms. Now we can apply the KCL. So according to KCL, what is the KCL? The algebraic sum of currents at the node is equal to Zero. One zero is sum of current and load equal to zero. So according to the KCL, we have to apply the KCL at this point. So that means we don't know the directions of current. We don't know the directions of current. That means that is why we have to assume that all the currents are leaving from the load, or else at the end of the load. So that is our wish. So I am taking, I am taking like that. So all the currents are leaving from the load. So say this is I one and this is what. I2 and this is the I3. I1, I2 and I3. So now, according to the KCL, what is the KCL? Algebraic sum of, sum of current at the node equal to 0. Now we can apply that. So according to that, sum of current so I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. Now we can find the I1, I2, I3 values. Resistance. But we have the two voltages. We have the two 
voltage. 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 Voltage.
it is what entering into the node. So the I one is what nine point four two amperes. Nine point four two amperes. So so like that we can find I three and all the things whatever we need. So if I want uh, power 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 consumed by the four ohms, so how can we find? So that is the I square into R. I square into R. That is what R is what four ohms. The I square is what seven point thank you so by understanding the those values we can find the power also so like this we can find all the factors like in the modern analysis thank you